Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure recipient moderation in Exchange Online. Recipient moderation allows you to require approval for all email messages sent to a particular recipient by a designated moderator. We can configure groups for moderation in Exchange Admin Center. For other recipient types, we need to use Exchange Online PowerShell. In this video, we will configure message moderation for a mail-enabled security group. For that, you need to access and log into the Exchange Admin Center web interface. Tap in URL https double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com to access Exchange Admin Center. In Exchange Admin Center, under Recipients, we need to click on Groups. Click on Mail Enabled Security Group. See, you can use Distribution List or Microsoft 365 Group or Dynamic Distribution List as well. Select the group. In my case, it is Editors. Let's select this and click on it. Then we need to click on Settings tab. Under Message Approval, click on Edit Message Approval link. Let's click here. Select Require Moderator Approval for messages sent to this group checkbox. Okay. Type or search for the user which is going to be moderator for this group. So here you need to define group moderators. Let's uh, select Administrator Manhar Rakulia as a group moderator for this group. Okay. We can add more than one moderator for the group as well. Then we can also specify a certain user who doesn't require message approval. For example, let me add Manhar Rakulia. Then I'm going to add Riyan Patel. So these two users doesn't require message approval. They can directly send message to the group. Okay. Uh, then we have a settings about the notification. So here we are going with the default and which is only sender. Okay. Now I'm going to click on save changes. So we have configured Manhar Rakulia as a group moderator for this mail enabled security group. Now, as we can see, the changes have been saved successfully. Uh, let me close this. Now to test this, we will send a message to this mail enabled security group editors. Let's open new in private tab by clicking on these three dots. Click on new in private window. Type in the URL https colon double slash outlook dot office dot com and press enter key. Enter the email address of our user Parita Boda, which is Parita B at clarex dot on Microsoft dot com. Let's click on next. Enter the user password and click on sign in. Let me remind you that we have accessed the mailbox of a user Parita Borda using Outlook on the web. Let's compose a new message by clicking on new message. In two field, I'm going to manually type the email address of our mail enabled security group, which is editors at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. We can see the mail tip informing about the message moderation that messages sent to editors are moderated, they may be rejected or delayed. Let's enter subject. After composing the message, I'm going to click on send. Let me remind you that our administrator Manhir Rakulia is also moderator for the group. So we will access the administrator's mailbox. Let's go back to the Exchange Admin Center and let's open Outlook on the web. For that, I'm going to click on App Launcher, click on Outlook and select Open in New tab. We can see the message sent by Parita Borda to the Mail Enabled Security Group. Let me click on it. And here we can see moderation is required. Your decision is requested. We can see the message Parita Borda has asked you to approve the attached message for delivery to editors mail enabled security group. 
you can also see the preview of that message below now this is the message and if you want to see the complete message you can click on this attachment as well and that will show you the exact message okay uh, administrator can approve or reject the message. After administrator approve the message, that message will deliver to the member of that mail enabled security group. To approve the message, you need to click on approve and to reject the message, you need to click on reject. Here, I'm going to click on approve. So let's click on it. So that concludes the video on how to configure a recipient moderation for mail enabled security group in Exchange Online using the Action Judgment Center. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.